So another great feature of Zoom is to have breakout rooms. Breakout rooms can come in handy for a variety of reasons. Um, maybe you're hosting a meeting to talk about a project you're working on. You could put your group into smaller breakout rooms to brainstorm ideas for, uh, for your project. So for our meeting today, we have a relatively small group, but I'm gonna set up two breakout rooms where I'll split the group it, just about in half and they'll each go to a breakout room to work on a project. So in order to do that, I am going to move my mouse around so my Zoom controls appear. And I'm gonna look for the More button with the three dots. Once I click on it, I'll see an option for breakout rooms. A box will appear and it allows me to choose how many breakout rooms I want and then it gives me some other options too. For this example, I'm gonna do two breakout rooms and I can either choose to have them assigned automatically, which means that Zoom will just split the group, or I can assign them manually, which means that I choose who goes in which room. I'm gonna actually show how to do it manually, so I'm gonna click that option and hit Create. Another box appears, which will allow me to assign participants to a room. So I'm going to click the Assign button, and then it will allow me to choose the participants who I want to go in room one. So in this case, I'm gonna choose Carly, Catherine, and Kim to go to room one. For room two, I'll assign Marisa and Sharon. Once everyone's been assigned, I click the Open All Rooms button and participants will receive an invitation to enter that room on their screen. And as the host, if you didn't assign yourself, you're going to be in the main room by yourself. And that's okay. When you're ready to close your breakout rooms, you can click on the red Close All Breakout Rooms button. And that will give your participants about 60 seconds before those rooms close automatically. So since we're done with our, our work, we're going to close the breakout rooms by clicking the Close All Rooms button. You'll see at the bottom of that box, a notification appears that reminds me about that 60 second window. When I close the rooms, my participants will receive a notification on their screen and then they will be invited to enter back into the main room.